Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we're gonna spend some time and look at one of the most unintentionally funny Twitter accounts that exists. And this is called Community Notes Violating People. Now the goal of this account is to capture moments where the community note function on Twitter ends up humiliating someone. And if you don't know what a community note is, it's basically the fact check system on Twitter. It's a little thing that pops up at the bottom of a tweet. If it's spreading something like misinformation, it'll correct the misinformation and provide a source or something like that. Now, this is a tool that has existed for many years, but only under the last year or two has the use of this function really expanded and become much more normalized. And today we're gonna look at some of the funniest community notes applied to bad tweets. So we're gonna start off with a very basic one. This one says, you'll never eat a chicken nugget again with this picture that's supposed to gross you out. And the community note, of course, says, this is manufacturing of rubber bands not chicken nuggets. Yeah, nice try, dude. You know, you've seen those type of videos before on Twitter. They'll be like, do you really know what you're eating when you have a McDonald's nugget? And it's like some pink paste coming through. And it's like, you know what, dude? I do not care. And I think I speak on behalf of a lot of people. I will eat that stuff no matter what it looks like in its pre-cooked state, as long as it comes out looking like a regular nugget. I do not care. It tastes good. Uh, here's another one from PETA, who has definitely a... Uh, a long history of embarrassing tweets. This one says, we're lucky turkeys would never do this to us. You don't have to do it to them either. And it has a very bizarre picture. I'm pretty sure this is like a fetish thing. Like, But anyways, the community note says, turkeys are not vegetarians. Turkeys eat, eat mice, lizards, frogs, and just about anything they can fit into their mouth. If turkeys were larger or had the technological mean to farm and eat humans, their current diet reveals they likely would. Here's another one. This is a, uh, a compilation of tweets from this one account. These are all interaction bait, okay? Ever since Elon Musk monetized Twitter and allowed people to put ads on their tweets for revenue, we get so many obnoxious tweets like this. Here's some examples saying, what the hell are these? What is this creature? Can anyone explain? And the first one says, tick. This is a sloth, cloud. These, it's like the most obvious thing ever. And they're only doing this for interaction bait. And also let it be known when they apply a community note to your tweet, you stop making revenue at that point. And again, just like, I remember seeing this one, what is this creature? And it's like very clearly a sloth. And you have a bunch of zoomers in their replies like, oh my God, this is some extraterrestrial creature. What is this guys? It's like, like have you seen a sloth before? It's not that crazy, but... Yeah, interaction bait has really taken over the scene on Twitter. It's it's quite unbearable, people trying to monetize Twitter. And it's not very good, okay? The amount of impressions and interactions you need to get on Twitter to make any sort of a meaningful amount of money is staggering. Trust me, I played around with it myself. It is a crazy amount of interactions you need to make any sort of decent amount. So when you see these accounts doing all this interaction bait, just point and laugh at them because it's clearly not worth it and they're just humiliating themselves in the process for mere pennies. Here's another one saying, maybe volleyball is not so bad. And the community note says, this image has been digitally altered to enlarge her buttocks. Ah, how formal. Yeah, there's a lot of pictures like this on Twitter, especially when it involves celebrities that are using AI and Photoshop and things like that to enhance them. It's really weird. Can we just pause and reflect how weird it is to take this random college girl's picture from her her volleyball game and enhance it like this like you're a very strange individual if you're doing stuff like that here's another one addressing the pokimane cookie drama this is something i didn't cover on the channel i i made a poll on twitter asking if you guys wanted me to cover this or a different topic and the different topic got like 80 percent of the votes okay like it was a unanimous decision you guys didn't care about this and honestly i don't really care about it either the Pokimane cookie drama is really overborn, as much as I dislike Pokimane. But basically what she did was she bought a cookie company that was already existing, changed the name, and tripled the price. And then when people complained about these $7 bag of cookies, she mocked her viewers while she was streaming and called them broke boys for not wanting to spend that much money. But this user quote retweeted a report on this whole cookie thing saying... You guys have people like Neon, Jack, Sneeko, who average thousands of viewers and do nothing but spread negativity and harass people in public. But when a girl sells cookies, that's when y'all want to speak out. 
The immense hatred towards women on the internet is unhinged. And the note says, the people that are mentioned in this tweet are also heavily criticized. It has nothing to do with sexism. Yeah, all those people are heavily criticized. They just also have fans. And in this case, the whole selling of the cookie thing had nothing to do with Pokimane's gender. It has to do with her personality and the way she was not only upscaling the price very, very high, but it was more about the fact that she was mocking her viewers. You know, the very ones that are allowing her to have this lifestyle, the ones that she literally built her career off of, their generosity, and now she's mocking them over a bag of cookies. It's ridiculous. But anyways, this is another very popular genre of tweets from big gimmick accounts. So this person uploads uh, origins of iconic images. And this tweet with this girl here is captioned, he literally just said that I'm too tight, so he's leaving. And then you see that they're tagged. There's some sort of a name tagged here, right? And then on the community note says, this is yet another poorly disguised OnlyFans promotion. This is a very common practice with these types of accounts. They have some sort of an e-girl or an OnlyFans girl take a picture and then they add some wild sexual caption and then they post it on their gimmick account and it gets a lot of interaction and lo and behold, either the person in it is directly tagged or they're the first one in the reply saying, oh my God, it's me, check out my content. It's a very poorly disguised OnlyFans promo and if you see a gimmick account do this, like, ugh, it, it's tough times for them, okay? Like, it, it's pretty pathetic behavior. But here's another one, uh, this one about Kick. So Ninja accidentally leaked some of his Twitch earnings and people were talking about that. And Kick would quote retweet something covering it saying, would be way higher on Kick, just saying. And someone did the actual math because the vast majority of Ninja's revenue on Twitch comes from Prime subs and ad revenue, which is something that Kick doesn't have. And Kick would reply by saying, mm, actually, mocking someone actually doing the proper math to prove them wrong. And the community notes would hit him with a, actually, the vast majority of Ninja's earnings were from ad revenue and prime subs, both of which Kick does not offer anyone. Ninja would make significantly less on Kick. Now, I've always said I, I appreciate uh, platforms like Kick existing because they challenge Twitch and maybe it'll lead to them being less greedy with policies like, for example, their revenue split because they have competition with another streaming platform that has a better ad revenue rate with their creators. But from the start, I've always said, Kick has a big PR problem. They always have a PR problem. And like, seriously, their, their social media accounts are not helping. Their, their Kick account on Twitter is, uh, is painful to watch sometimes. And this just makes you look weird and bad and it's not a good look for Kick. And certainly Ninja will not be enticed to come over after seeing stuff like this. It's just weird. But here's another one, this one from Billie Eilish, a little uh, coverage of her from Variety saying, in quotes, nobody ever says a thing about men's bodies, says Billie Eilish. If you're muscular, cool. If you're not, cool. If you're rail thin, cool. If you have a dad bod, cool. If you're pudgy, love it. Everybody's happy with it. You know why? Because girls are nice. They don't give a F because we see people for who they are. Stop the cap, dude. We all know that's not just women uh, or, or, you know, a problem that women face. Men have an issue with their bodies being judged too, okay? And it's not just coming from uh, men, it's coming from women. Everyone's judging each other's physical appearances. That is not a unique thing amongst the genders, okay? And the community note, of course, says, it is estimated that roughly 10 million men in the United States alone experience body dysmorphia for the same reasons that women do. Yes, another out-of-touch celebrity, color me shocked. Here's one from Nature is Amazing, another gimmick account, saying, look how happy this elephant is. And I didn't even need the note on this one. I know that this is an animatronic from the Jungle Cruise ride in Disney. I have been on this ride, ladies and gentlemen. I knew it before I even saw the note. How dare they try to slip this one past a person like me? It's honestly offensive. Let's move on, uh, baby smiling shark. And the note is very quick and simple. That shark is suffocating. Yes, what do you think it's doing? It's smiling because you're, you're having a little uh, wacky moment with it. It's literally gasping for air. That's what that face is. Uh, this one captioned, uh, this is extremely damaging and child abuse. And she's literally cooking her kid's 
dinner and the note says feeding your children pepperoni pizza is not abusive <laughs> very quick to the point on that one this one saying dispelling the myth of unskilled labor and the note says correction carpentry is considered skilled labor <laughs> Yeah, leave it to Twitter to not know what a job or skilled labor looks like. I, I'm not very surprised by that. But here's another one saying over and over again, uh, repeating in all caps to be uh, maximum annoying, saying Riz is a misogynistic slur, where the note says Riz is not a slur. It is slang for charisma, and its usage was popularized in 2021. Yeah, that, that nice nice try. I, I hope the, the updutes was worth it. Uh, oh, God, not this guy. So Ian Miles Chong is very uh, infamous on Twitter. So quoting some argument here, he says, these people want us dead. They make no secret of it. It's time to wake up. And in the note, brutally stated, Ian Miles Chong is Malaysian and has never been to the U.S. Malaysia is not a Western nation. And in fact, as somewhere between 63% and 75% Muslim population, depending on the survey, he would be closer to the they than the us in this statement. Yes, he makes a lot of uh, bait tweets about what, what it's like to be in the United States. Meanwhile, this guy has never stepped foot in the United States. And his entire account is getting dunked on and made fun of all day long. Non-stop tweets so he can farm a few uh, uh, pennies in Twitter ad revenue. It's a pathetic account. It's hard to watch. It's very hard to watch, actually. Here's another one, very straight to the point as always. Uh, Palestinian boy shares his bread with a dog. Readers added context. That's a cat. Beautiful. But we're going to end on uh, probably the best example here. Uh, this tweet has a community note. And the note says, this tweet made a false claim, but it has now been corrected. Yes, that is the final note of this video we're going to look at. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this account. It's unintentionally one of the funniest accounts on Twitter. It's just basically simple corrections to really dumb tweets and misinformation, which we need now more than ever because of the monetization of Twitter accounts, because there is now a financial incentive to piss people off and spread insidious, terrible tweets. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Please share all of your thoughts about the topics of today's video in the comments section down below, and I'll see you guys next time.